So in a couple of weeks here, we're doing the race across the West. I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you I wasn't intimidated, right? It's, it's going to be a challenge. But a challenge that Bobby Clot is up for. He enlisted with the Army National Guard in 2008 and was deployed to Iraq a year later. Base support, convoy support, and um, really just supporting whatever the mission dictated as far as the higher ups. He served for five years and also spent time with the Army Reserves. However, at age 30, uh, I just kind of had a life change, and I wanted to do something a little bit different, and, and I wanted to be a little bit more active, and I wanted a challenge. That's when he got into distance cycling and completed a 400-mile race in Minnesota in 2016. And that was the first stepping stone to something called the Race Across America. So that's where the motivation came from, is this is kind of step two out of what I hope one day will be a three-step process. Uh, to the ultimate goal of racing across America. Step two is no easy journey, though. The race across the West stretches 930 miles. It starts in Oceanside, California, and we have to uh, go to Durango, Colorado, and we have 92 hours to accomplish it. This will be a touch different with the, the desert heat, the mountain elevation, um, and then, then again, the overall length of it. He'll have some help to make it through with his personal coach and four other guys tagging along. So we'll have two separate vans. They'll run four to six hour shifts, maybe eight hour shifts, um, following me and helping me with hydration, nutrition, keeping me cool. They're really my lifeline over the, over the course of those three, four days that we'll be on the bike. He's also raising money for veterans and active duty service members along the way, with donations going towards 4th Hua, Wisconsin, which stands for Helping Out Our American Heroes, a local group that he's a part of. I feel like a lot of times, you know, because of what they do, people are able to pull through and and make better of a situation because they know that there's people locally that, that truly have their back. To date, I think we've raised about $14,500. We have a goal of $20,000. And there's even more motivation for Bobby to cross the finish line as he's the only cyclist from Wisconsin participating. I want to make everybody, not only my friends and family, uh, but also Fourth Hua and my sponsorships and everybody proud. I want to make the whole state proud knowing that, hey, this guy from Wisconsin uh, made it you know, 930 miles across the western part of the United States. And I have a mantra that I've lived by over the last couple of months, and that is to outwill my ability. And I feel like uh, if you can wake up with that mindset every day, and if you, can, if you can go and tackle something that's truly bigger than what you think you can do, it'll change you in the long run, and it'll make you a better person. And Bobby was such a great guy, and I know he's going to crush the race across the West. And if you would like to donate to Bobby's cause, you can find a link on 4th Hua, Wisconsin's website by clicking the events tab. And the race begins on June 11th. So, Bobby, best of luck. I know you're going to nail it. And don't forget, if you know someone that you would like to nominate for our Hometown Heroes segment, just send me an email at the address you see right there on your screen. I could use some nominations right now, too. I'm always looking for people, so please email me. We'll get a check on your forecast and how Memorial Day weekend is shaping up right after this. Yes.